to scale Rational Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to learn what is pre-stress concrete, different methods of doing the pre-stressing, and how the load will be transferred in pre-stress concrete. Let's try to understand what is pre-stress concrete. Pre-stress concrete is a form of concrete substantially pre-stressed, means in compressed stretch during the production, in a manner that it will be significantly able to bear the load when it has been applied on the site. This compression is produced by the tensioning of high strength tendons located within the concrete to improve the performance of the concrete in service. There are two methods of pre-stressing that is pre-tensioning and post-tensioning. The difference can be compared with reference to the pouring of the concrete. Let's start with the first pre-tensioning. In pre-tensioning, the tendons are stretched before pouring of the concrete. So whatever the predetermined force is applied, that has been done before pouring of the concrete. That is why it is called as a pre-tensioning. On the other hand, post-tensioning, concrete or concrete is already poured and then the stress has been applied
Now let's understand how the forces or stresses transfer in a pre-stressed concrete. The first diagram shows once we are going to apply the pre-stress force with the use of hydraulic jack and in the pre-stressing concrete when the concrete has already poured and we are going to cut the tendons, tendons are going to induce a stresses on the concrete. So you are going to get, give little bit such kind of a curve so which is very difficult to see by a naked eyes but to illustrative purpose the such kind of a curves has been shown. So now let's try to understand how exactly it will be helpful to counteract the forces. Now try to, try to understand. See here. So in the normal case whenever the load is applied the beam is try to bend in this fashion. So when the tendons are stressed and after it has been cut so that predetermined forces are going to induce or providing a compression force on the concrete member before because of that it is going to be act something like this and when the it is going to be implemented on the site so when the actual load is applied on it so it is going to be formed on its nature position that is it is going to be become completely flat so for unlimited conceptual and practical knowledge about the construction industry kindly subscribe to our channel you can also follow us on the instagram and on the Facebook with the same name Skill Rush Institute of Technology. Thank you everyone. See you on the next video.